The Homeless Monkey Once upon a time, there lived a monkey who had no home of his own. They called him Springs, for he always walked with a bounce in his steps. He had sold everything he owned, and with that money, he had started traveling the world. He wanted to see the world's smallest and biggest wonders. He traveled from village to village, town to town, and offered his services to do work in exchange for food and shelter. He was a happy monkey, and he loved helping people. One day, he passed through the village of Zver, where twenty animals lived. He saw an old beaver. So he walked towards him and said, Hello, Mr. Beaver. If I was to do some garden work for you today, would you be so kind as to give me something to eat? The old beaver agreed and asked Springs to do some gardening and fix up a few things around the house. It was a long and tiring day for Springs but enjoyed his day. When Springs returned to the house in the evening, the whole village had gathered there. There was a lot of food put out on the large wooden table and everybody was celebrating as though a hero had come to their small village. They all had a great time that night. It was like a big party. There was dancing and lots of food and Springs really enjoyed his evening. The following morning, when Springs was ready to leave, the old beaver approached Springs with tears in his eyes and said, Thank you for joining us for dinner. Please come back whenever you have time. I have two boys around your age who I have not seen in ten years. Spending time with he reminded me of my boys. Springs did not know what to say so he just hugged the beaver, just like he would his father, and set off on his way with a promise to return one day. Springs had been walking for some time and was tired. He saw two highway robbers, who pushed him down, and took his bag away. When the robbers looked in his bag, they only found a rope, some tools, and some bread. They threw his bag on the ground and ran away. Springs picked up his backpack and continued on his journey. He started to think about all the good and bad in the world. The road was long and winding and finally led him to a dark forest. The only way he could continue his journey was to walk through the forest. Springs walked for more than an hour and then he realized he was lost. He decided to climb up a tree to relax and eat some of the bread the villagers had given him. Suddenly Springs heard some voices shouting for help. He climbed down from the tree and ran in the direction the voices were coming from. Springs reached the place the voices were coming from. He saw that the two robbers who had pushed him earlier that day were trapped inside a deep hole in the ground. They were both trapped and couldn't get out and were yelling for help. Springs quickly reached into his backpack and grabbed the rope that was inside. He tied one end of the rope to a tree and threw the other end inside the hole. The robbers both quickly climbed up the rope to safety. The robbers were amazed that Springs had saved them. One robber asked why did you help us? We pushed you and tried to rob you earlier. Springs replied there are good people and bad people in this world. The good people do good things and bad people do bad things. I have decided to be one of the good people. The two robbers were amazed by Springs' reply. Springs told the robbers, I have traveled far and wide, seen happiness as well as sorrow. I have met all kinds of people, good, bad, old, and young. I have experienced all sorts of bad things, but I have always tried to do only good things. As Springs was leaving, he gave the two robbers some bread with a smile and said, I hope what I have said today will help you realize that there is always a way to live without causing harm to others.